In this video, you are going to learn how to do arthrokinematic assessment and treatment for the radial capsule of the radiocarpal joint. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. The aim of roll glide assessment is to gain information on the reactivity of the joint and articular problems such as capsular limitations. Yeah. Yeah. For the push technique, have your patient in sitting position with the forearm in maximal pronation and support it on the bench. The patient's wrist is hanging freely and the examiner is standing distal and lateral. Then fixate the patient's forearm on the bench and grab the patient's proximal intercarpal row from ulna. The intercarpals are the convex joint partner and the distal radial ulna joint is the concave joint partner. So when moving with the convex joint partner, we will have to roll and glide into opposite directions. Now roll into ulna and proximal direction and at the same time perform the glide by pushing the proximal intercarpal row into radial and distal direction. The distal component is added as the distal radius reaches slightly more distal than the ulna. As an alternative, have the patient in supine or sitting position with the shoulder and elbow in MLPP. The patient's forearm is in pronation. Then grab onto the patient's thena eminence and proximal intercarpal row on the radial side with one hand and hold onto the patient's hypothena eminence from the ulnar side. Realize there is no hard fixation in this technique. Now roll into ulna and proximal direction and perform a glide to the same degree by pushing onto the ulnar side of the intercarpals into radial and distal direction. For all techniques, assess for movement quality during roll and glide, possible pain provocation and end feel. For end feel assessment, roll and glide to end range, then assess if further gliding is possible or not. In a hypomobile joint, the glide is reduced relative to the roll component, so no further gliding is possible. If you feel that the end feel or movement quality is abnormal, you can directly move further from assessment to intervention as the techniques are identical. When used as an intervention, make use of the Maitland grades of mobilization to dose your techniques according to your goals. Check the video in the top right corner to learn more about that. Okay, you've reached the end of this video. If you want to learn how to assess and mobilize the ulna capsule, click on the video right next to me. I want to thank you very much for watching Go check us out and follow us on Facebook, Instagram and physiotutors.com for more. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.